This is going to be a quick demonstration on the setup procedures of hydraulic drives on a Seedstar 2 or Seedstar XP planter. Uh, this particular demo is on, will work on a 2600 or 2630 John Deere display. Uh, the screens uh, typically use the same software so there should not be any variation between the monitors on this particular demonstration. To get there, uh, to get to our drive setup, you need to go into your planner and your planner setup uh, screen to make these changes. So we'd go over to the menu in the lower right corner of the screen. We'd go to our planner tab. We'd go to our second tab on the right side, which is tab G. This is where all of our planner setup is going to be configured. We'd want to go to our drives tab across the top. It would be the third one across. We'd want to look at our drive configuration. Let's pick your planner. We're uh, converting over from a ground driven to a variable rate drive system. So to change any of these variables, we tap the uh, dot with the arrow uh, icon in the bottom center of the screen. We're going to change it to a variable rate drive. Uh, meter type and uh, drive type is going to stay the same. Quick start enabled uh, will be checked, and that just allows us to actually prime our variable rate motors without actually moving the planner. Uh, so on your home screen, they'll have a quick start button. If you hit it, it'll turn your uh, variable rate drives without uh, requiring ground speed to be seen for the planter to actually turn. We'd hit, from here, we'd hit our accept button in the lower right part of the screen. We need to set up our drive sections for this configuration. Uh, you could look at, uh, here it shows that uh, how many motors we have and where the rows stop and start for each one, and then which gears uh, are on this, the variable rate drives at this point. To edit any of these, you go into uh, the tab at the bottom center of the screen again. Uh, set up the number of motors. You can look back and see the variable rate drives uh, mounted on top of the planter frame typically. Uh, row command. This one particular planter does not have row command, so we're going to uncheck that box. We're going to hit our next button in the lower right part of the screen. We do our setup for motor one. It starts, if you're looking at the back of the planter, row one will be on your left side and goes all the way across to your right, however many rows you have. So we set up motor one to be on the left side. It starts from row one, goes to row eight. We would look at our variable rate drive and see how many uh, uh, rows is controlled by that to determine this. You'd also look at the drive gear and driven gear on these variable rate drive uh, motors to see which. Uh, uh, how many teeth are on each one of those gears and you would type that in the appropriate boxes here. Uh, also on the planter frame they'll be labeled. They'll have a, a sticker there that say which one is the drive and which one is the driven gear. Some gears will actually have a, a smaller gear welded onto it and which it can be flipped for higher populations. So a small gear uh, would be used for high populations and a larger gear would be for much lower populations. We go on to our next page, continue for motor 2 setup. Motor 3 as well, ensure that every all the gears are uh, correctly typed in, as well as the start-stop rows. And we hit the accept button, the green arrow in the lower right part of the screen. It's going to ask for a, a power cycling of the system. This requires a full power reset, so do not just unplug the display. You have to actually turn the key off to the tractor, allow the tractor, the planner, and the display to fully power down. Give it a minute or two, and then you can... Uh, uh, power back on the system. Uh, after you would do this after you hit the accept button in the upper right part of the screen. Do the power down at this point, and then when you power back up, all your uh, drive configuration will uh, be saved inside the display. And that's it for the setup procedures of hydraulic drives on a Seed Star Planner.